a parallel plate capacitor connected to a battery becomes fully charged. Then the battery is removed, after which the plates are pulled farther apart so that the plate separation triples. By what factor does each of the following change? Capacitance, voltage across the capacitor, charge on each plate of the capacitor, potential energy stored in the capacitor and the electric field between the plates. The capacitance is epsilon naught A over D. Epsilon naught is always a constant, and in this case, the plate area doesn't change. So the capacitance is proportional to 1 over D. Since D triples, that means the capacitance will become one-third of its original value. After being charged, this capacitor will carry positive charges on one plate, negative charges on the other plate. When the battery is removed, the charges are staying on the plate. With the battery gone, there's no battery to maintain constant voltage. But the charges on the plate have nowhere to go, so the charges have to stay on the plate because uh, now the capacitor is isolated from everything else. The charges on the plate will have to stay the same because now we have an isolated capacitor. Now let's look at the voltage. Since Q equals to CV, that means the voltage equals to the Q divided by C. And the Q now stays the same, so the voltage is proportional to 1 over C. And since C changes by a factor of one-third, that means the voltage would uh, triple. Now let's look at the energy stored in the capacitor. That's uh, one-half QV. One-half stays a constant. Q stays the same, so the energy stored in the capacitor is proportional to the voltage, which triples, which means now the capacitor holds more energy. The battery is gone, so no battery can provide more energy to the system. So where do you think this extra energy come from? The extra energy comes from the person who pulls the plates apart. Because those two plates are oppositely charged, they attract each other, so the person who pulled the plates apart has to pull hard. So the pulling force goes outward, and the displacement goes in the same direction. So the work done by the person is positive. The person who pulled the plates apart has to do positive work to provide that extra energy. Again, the electric field, that's uniform electric field, so the V equals to ED, E would equal to V over D. So this is proportional to V over D, and the V triples, so does the plate separation. So this gives me 1, that means the electric field strength between the two plates would stay the same. Since the charges on the plate stay the same, positive, negative, same amount of charge. That means the number of field lines in between the plates is the same. When we pull the plates farther apart, the lines get longer, but the line density would stay the same. So the electric field stays the same.